Hey, Shalom. First, I would like to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. Want to give him peace and blessings that I came across the four corners of the earth, who teaches this truth for rich that I like to do so. It's going to be a quick video, man. And basically, that these people, like our, our people, the people around us, right? Whether it be your women, your woman, your family, right? People who looked at you sideways, who turned on you when you got into this truth. It's going to come a time to where we're going to be needed and we're going to be wanted and, and highly respected. <clears throat> and why I say that, right? Because right now, the scriptures say, you know, what's highly esteemed in this world is an abomination to the most high. Right now, bullshit is highly esteemed. Right now, sinful things are highly esteemed. The men of the Lord are not highly, uh, are, are, are not paid attention to, even though we're the rarest thing on earth, even though we're the best thing on earth. You know? Why? Well, why I say that? It's because we have this truth. Okay? We have this truth, right? It's going to come a time, right? To like, if you're a woman acting up, it's going to come a time to where she's going to get either, she's going to get in line or judged. Isaiah 4 and 1, you know, seven women should cling on to one man, right? There's going to come a time where we're going to be needed. You know, when, 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 if your family turned on you, right? Looked at you sideways, talk about you behind your back. Mark 9 and 42, right? It is better that a millstone was hung about their neck and they were cast into the sea ones that offend you you know there's gonna come a time to where this world is gonna be judged man with what nuclear destruction fires for the wicked that's what it says in Sirach 16 if I'm not mistaken fires for the wicked fires for is a clean it's a pure it's a clean it purifies things the cleaning agent and what need what's more dirtier than, than Babylon what's more dirtier than this world why is this world dirty Right, because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. When the wicked bear the world rule, right, the earth mourn, man. The scriptures say these things, right? It's not the earth mourning, it's not the people mourning, it's not the animals mourning, it's not the trees mourning. And are we not mourning? The righteous uh, complain continually, right? Why? Because it's bullshit going on, right? But we had to clean ourselves coming out of the world. We had to clean ourselves to either to, to be in this truth, man, because the most high, he doesn't look upon, he can't stand things that are filthy. So what we had to clean ourselves. Even though we slip, right? We slip, you know, but a, a, a just man fall seven times but get back up. Which means you're gonna continue to fall. But the point is, is that you get back up. got to make this truth our life because it is our life you know we sacrifice everything in this life to do this to to do this work to do this truth man and the lord will provide the lord will provide the lord will judge those who offend you i got testimonies i can say that those who offend you those who did you wrong they will be judged But it's in our best interest to keep <coughs> to keep this knowledge because the, our only defense system is Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. It says, "O oh, thou worm, Jacob." A worm doesn't have a defense system. So without the Most High, we don't have a defense system. We don't have a defense system without the Most High, right? You know. The most I provides. What does it tell you? I think it's Matthew who says, don't take no thought of what you should eat, what you should drink. That's what the heathen got to worry about. You Israel, you ain't got to worry about that. That's how you know Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is only coming back for Israel. What does the other nations need to be saved from? You have heaven on this side. You other nations, you guys have heaven on this side. What the fuck do y'all need to be saved from? 
You need to be put in subjection and under rule under those who are righteous. Why? Because we know how to govern the earth to a, to us on a small level right now. But once we are changed, once our spirit is changed, once once our mental is changed, and we're on a on on a hundred percent level, a hundred percent godly level, because we're dumbed down right now, on a hundred percent godly level, we are going to be the governors of the universe, man, the planets, man, the galaxies, this earth, you nations. So what? It's in our best interest to what, man? It's true. Hang on to what we got. Like I was talking to the brother, the Akim, this week. And he said, um, uh, hey, we need to hang on to what we got. The, the, if you know a little bit or if you know a lot, hang on to what you got. And Lord willing, man, we'd be a part of the elect of the one-third. I'd be part of the elect of the one-third, you know? Because every man has to work out his own salvation, you know? But the worst thing, and I'm speaking to myself as well, the worst thing you want to do is sacrifice everything you had and could have had in the world and have fast and it's true. Why? Because not only do the, the most, the, not only do the most I hate a lukewarm person, but you just you sacrifice everything for nothing. That don't make sense, right? If you're not gonna get it, you all why? Why even do it? And like I said, I'm speaking to myself as well. You know, if you're not going to do this 100%, why do it at all? Go back to playing sports. Go back to rapping. You know, go back to, to doing worldly nigga shit. Go back to selling drugs. Go back to being a game banger. See what that gets you. Death. You know, this earth is coming, this, this nation... America's coming to his last, it's, it's on his last leg, man. And we see it. Why would the chariots be showing themselves? Right? Look at Jeremiah 50, man. Judah and Israel, what? They're going to be standing together, man. <laughs> Who's going to be the chief in, in that place? What place is that? America. And that chief, who's that chief cornerstone? Yahweh Shai. Isn't Judah and Israel saying the same thing? Aren't we preaching the same, same power? Negroes and Latinos together? What? That's why that chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shai. Like the brother said, that's why that chief corner that chief cornerstone was that's holding us together is Yahweh Shai. But <laughs> it's gonna come a time to where you know you're gonna wish you would have did if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're gonna wish you would have did everything you could have did while you had a chance or you yeah, had liberty. In the time to come, why? Because it's going to be martial law. It's going to be famine. You're going to need a defense system out here. People are going to be getting judged left and right. People you know, you know, and it's you know it's. I'm I'm, I'm saying it, you know. But when that time come, I might even be a little scared. And I'm I'm on a highway. We on a highway is about what we preaching this word. We doing our videos. We're trying to stay diligent. The righteous is going to be what scarcely saved. That's what the scriptures say. Scarcely saved. Scarcely saved. We don't even know if we're going to be saved. This is the only thing we got. The only thing we got is Yahweh, Wai, Yahweh, Shai. That's the only thing we have. I could speak for myself. I was at a low point when I found the truth. The low, lowest point when I found the truth. And the only thing that, that saved me, right, from the the world i'm not i'm not saying like i'm saved but the only thing that that got me out of the world and the worldly shit that i was doing that i was about to do was this truth so i got no choice but in my eyes i got no choice but to preach this word because without this word i'll be nothing without your how while your house shot we will all be nothing so we got to get this for all because when your parent, when you, when your family not there, if your girl not there, your so-called friends not there, who gonna be there? Yeah, how why you how a shot? Sophia. So we put this truth 
we have to put this truth before we put anything in this world. You know, we have to put this truth before we put anything. We got to put Yahweh, Yahweh shot first before we put anything. We got to put everything in this truth before we put anything in the world. That means Akim, that means studying, that means praying, that means fasting. You know, that means keeping the law, sessions, and commandments to the best of our ability. That means going out to the hours and byways. That means doing our videos. That means studying. That means answering questions. That means keeping brothers in order, whether you have to rebuke them, even if you don't want to rebuke them. Man, we're being built, man. We're being, we're, we're, we're changing. We all, if you in this truth, you're a different man than what you were before you came in. You were, And if you're not a different man yet, you're changing and going to change. F is meant for you. So I don't want to keep the video too long, man. I, Lord willing, you know, the video was edifying. Lord willing, brothers, keep going in this truth. You know, Lord willing, this place fall as soon as, like yesterday, as soon as possible. You know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. I want to say shalom to you, Akim, shalom.